Suspected human remains have been recovered from the wreckage of the Titanic tourist submersible. Experts in Canada are examining fragments salvaged from the bottom of the Atlantic. They are trying to find out how the vessel imploded, killing all five people on board last week. The lack of regulation on deep sea expeditions are also being investigated following the sub's loss. The discovery of the Titan submersible wreckage marked the conclusion of the search and rescue aspect of this incident. The Coast Guard has officially convened a Marine Board of Investigation into the loss of the submersible and the five people on board. An MBI is the highest level of investigation the Coast Guard conducts and enables the U.S. to fully leverage investigative resources Coast Guard-wide and capitalize on an extensive network of cooperative relationships with international maritime administrations and organizations. The MBI is currently in its initial evidence collection phase, including debris salvage, salvage operations at the incident site, and evidence collection in coordination with Canadian authorities in the port of St. John's, Newfoundland. Titan SOB investigation that now arrives. U.S. correspondent Ruti Mikati has been monitoring all developments and he joins us now from New Jersey. It's good to have you, Ruti. Now, tell us how bad is the air quality across the U.S. right now? Well, the National Service, in conjunction with the federal government, have issued um, advisories that um, the air quality currently um, all across um, the United States, I would say majority of the states, which affects almost about 127 million people, um, have is quite unsafe and that has led to states uh, declaring cold red you know for a uh, majority of um, its um, citizens uh, cold red alert simply means that um, the air quality is unhealthy for everybody especially people with um, underlying health conditions mm -hmm. and um, they've also offered um, advisories as well that uh, you don't have to go out um, if need be. You have to shelter in place. Make sure that you do all the necessary things. And if you have to go out, you have to also ensure that um, you put on your mask and uh, make sure that you stay indoors um, if necessary. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at uh, more than a third of the U.S. population from the Midwest to the East Coast on that air quality alerts from uh, Canadian wildfire smoke. Does this mean climate change is becoming a more pressing political issue in the U.S.? Well, for now, uh, we've not been seeing a lot of uh, discourse in that regard. Uh, perhaps uh, the White House has not raised uh, that um, um, issue uh, into the front burner as it usually uh, you know, does. But of course, um, you can't take away climate change um, issues from this because uh, when you talk about wildfires, what causes wildfire um, is directly uh, related to climate change, excessive heat waves uh, that causes wildfire, wildfires, which of course um, um, uh, led to this uh, catastrophic um, situation. But again, um, it, in the coming days and months, I think we're going to be seeing you know, a lot of uh, debates uh, regarding this and uh, more actions, uh, I believe, uh, would be taken uh, because right now I think it, uh, the air quality doesn't just, um, you know, affects, you know, the, uh, the quality of our lives, but also businesses uh, because so many airlines have canceled their flights. Um, and of course, uh, people are ahead of the July 4th um, Independence Day celebration are uh, being hindered to travel to I'll see their loved ones. So I think um, such things are going to be uh, a real um, issue uh, going forward. Right. Uh, aviation and haze atmosphere is not a good mix. Uh, moving to the Titan uh, submersible, suspected human remains have been found. Uh, what more do we know about the investigation uh, into the vessel's implosion? Well, uh, I think we know a little right now because um, everything is being put under wraps, uh, but um, the little that we know um, has to do with um, the uh, the National Coast Guard uh, recovering the debris of, um, you know, the submersible, and uh, they're trying to um, decipher what exactly happened, uh, what led to the implosion. 
And um, in the coming days, I think they're going to be giving us a uh, bit by bit, um, you know, uh, situation of what currently transpired. Uh, there have been a lot of conspiracy theories about um, whether the controller uh, was found under the seabed. Uh, but again, um, um, there's also been a counter um, um, submissions about um, that um, many of the wreckage um, debris uh, have not been found. But the majority of them have been found. And of course, as usual, when things like this happen, um, there will be some sort of um, intense investigation. And of course, I think we discussed this before, also talking about the oversight functions um, of um, the undersea um, expeditions, uh, that um, those um, would definitely uh, take um, a big issue uh, in, in perhaps maybe Congress, because this is going to be the first time in many years that we've experienced things like this. I know it's interesting that you just mentioned Congress because experts raised safety concerns about Ocean Gate years before its Titanic sub vanished. Now, is there going to be a larger focus on the lack of regulation on deep sea expeditions following the subs lost? You know, especially talking about uh, Congress, like you rightly mentioned, Rotimi. Well, I think there have been a lot of calls uh, for it to be fully regulated, uh, but um, the Congress members and, you know, they've actually not paid a lot of attention to it in terms of passing bills or even discussing it on the floor. Uh, but of course, we know that things like this would not be allowed to be swept under the carpet because um, for uh, something of this uh, magnitude to have happened, uh, Ocean Gate itself, uh, uh, more or less self-indict itself by um, closing all operations uh, for now uh, till further notice. Uh, and of course, um, so many other, you know, um, businesses uh, that are in this um, expedition business are, are also considering closing down until um, a full investigation is carried out. And of course, uh, have um, something that um, a little bit, you know, more uh, you know, a, a conclusive end to all of this, um, you know, exactly what happened. But again, you know, we, we expect um, the Congress to actually act um, in time uh, to actually put some sort of uh, uh, stop guards to some of these things because we know that um, the quality of um, the uh, uh, the submersible is, is quite in question. Mm -hmm. And um, that's one of the reasons that led to the implosion when it went